On the 24th of June, 1940, the bailiffs received a message from the king. His sorrow regarding the abandonment of the Channel Islands is self-evident. But in truth, the islands had no strategic value and could not adequately be defended without stripping Great Britain of resources at a time when she stood alone against the might of Hitler's Germany. The Germans were not informed of the demilitarization, and in the meantime, an evacuation began. For four days, from the 19th of June till the 22nd, there were scenes of panic everywhere, as families tried to decide whether to go or to stay. I was just started school, and I remember as ever so well in that classroom, hustle and bustle going on, being given a gas mask and label to put on my, my coat and that. And then the next thing, it was sort of, we were sent home because the boat hadn't arrived to take us. They didn't know what was happening. We didn't know if there was a boat coming to fetch us. And the headmaster says, I'm sorry, but you must all go back home and come at two o'clock tomorrow morning. So uh, we all went back and I, uh, my mum and dad brought me to the school uh, and there were a lot of other people and there were buses waiting for us and at about dawn it was, it was daylight. We stayed. I believe my brother wasn't very well but I don't know if that wasn't a bit of an excuse for my father to stay because he was an out and out Jerseyman and he wouldn't have wanted to go, that I know, although we had the opportunity. No clear direction was given by the British government and the advice given by the authorities varied from island to island. We watched as the cars drove down onto the pier and people tumbled out of them dragging suitcases and the car was left with the doors open and the ignition keys in them and they just went aboard the boats and that was it. 17,000 were evacuated from Guernsey, just under half the population. However, in Jersey, only 6,500 left. But in Alderney, the entire population fled as fast as the boats could carry them. They left behind food on the table, their cows unmilked, their stock untended, and their domestic pets abandoned. The Dame of Sark, Sybil Hathaway, refused to leave, and 471 of the 600 inhabitants stayed put. 